Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Brock the Collector here. Today, we are going to be talking about the Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Legends Cosmic Rewind 5-pack from the Shop Disney exclusive, you know, it's a Shop Disney exclusive set that um, I believe it went up in July and it retailed for $124, but, you know, Shop Disney does several sales. This one only went through one sale, which is when I picked it up. It got it for only $100, I believe, um, because of, like, this discount that they just did last weekend. So I picked it up fearing that I could talk about it with you guys, sell off the stuff that I didn't want, and, you know, keep it moving. Because there is some stuff in this set that I like, and there is some stuff in this set that's not for me. But then, uh, actually, the pack ended up selling out, so... Yikes, uh, this pack was a pretty good way. I could see why it sold out because, you know, the Guardians are a very popular entity within Marvel and the Marvel Cinematic Universe itself. And honestly, ever since, like, the last Guardians movie was four years ago now. Like, it's sequel, it's sequel, or actually five years ago now. Um, it hasn't gotten a sequel in six years. Uh, so, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, these Guardians are oftentimes hard to get your hands on because that was the last time a Gamora was uh, was released as well as a Drax. And, you know, these other guys got released and re-released in different ways um, later down the line. But yeah, the Guardians are usually pretty hard to come by. So today we're going to be talking about this five pack. Maybe cracking it open and, you know, telling you guys, uh, you know, my two cents on it. So without further ado, real quickly before I put away the box, look at some of this beautiful box art at the back. There is no bio, but there is this really really nice looking photo and you can see the milano at the back um yeah i'm pretty sure that looks more like the milano than the benatar or whatever the new one is called but yeah pretty nice pretty cool looking so if you were wondering if there is any piece in this set that is new sculpt um no no all of these sculpts on every piece every accessory every little every little minute detail on this set is reused from some other figure sometimes it's kit bashed onto one figure sometimes it's uh sometimes it's set up as in like you know it's just a reused accessory from a different figure entirely but i will say that the one thing that is pretty new on all of these is it seems that they have taken the same old face sculpts that they had on some previous figures and they ran the photo reel deco over them again to give them a sort of, uh, or to make them look a little bit more defined. So it's not like they just took the exact same figure. Well, they did. They did rerun the photo reel deck on all of these. And for some of these, I will say, it's like one of these does actually have, a couple of these actually have the best photo reel likenesses, I think, that we have of these two characters in the line thus far. So but regardless, uh, let's get into them. Let's start with, you know, our, our Groot, of course. Let's start with Groot. So Groot here, as you can see, he is... um yet yeah. he's the guardians of the galaxy Groot all over again he is basically the evolution three-pack Groot he comes with the evolution three-pack Groot accessories so I know at that set for some time last year that set and this year for a little bit that evolution three-pack target Toys R Us exclusive was hard to come by and they've released it um this same basic group body mold they've released it about three times now they've released it actually four times now but they released this version of Groot, this mcu version of Groot, three times um you had the build a figure which is what it originally was where the sculpt comes from and then you had the i believe it was the um yeah the evolution three pack and then you have this version but then as for this whole body mold in general it's been four times this was also packed in with a Guardians of the Galaxy comic Groot in some sort of five pack. I think it might have been an STCC five pack or something a few years ago. So um yeah, this uh this Groot body mold, it is from 2014 and in some areas it does show. It has like the ball joint at the well not really a ball joint, but it does have this hinge at the hips instead of a ball jointed, you know, the ball jointed hips. So it's like it's kind of outdated in that sense. You have to twist the leg a certain way and then move it up. Kind of like the Avengers Endgame 2019 Captain America. So that is a pretty outdated way of engineering a figure. But when you have... This group was one of the best MCU sculpts on a figure. One of the best build-a-figures that Hasbro did for a while. 
so I can see why they'd reuse the sculpt here. And, you know, for the most part, it is the exact same. I'm pretty sure that, you know, in order for you to have this whole set, in order for that, I'm pretty sure the idea was to have the whole Guardians of the Galaxy team together to put them into this five pack. And he had to throw in a Groot. They had re-released Groot, the Evolution three pack Groot in 2020 as part of like a whole, it was like a whole, I don't really know even how to describe it. It was part of a whole like 2020, um, 2020 re-release of like these MCU figures and these different figures from all across the line but they re-released the WandaVision 2-pack, the Falcon and Winter Soldier Target exclusive 2-pack, and this Evolution Groot. And I part of me had thought that it was like as a push for the Disney Plus shows because I know that Falcon and Winter Soldier and WandaVision were already um you know announced and they were on their way to come out the following year in the beginning. But um, the, I don't believe the I Am Groot TV show was announced at the time. So they had just decided to re-release this one. And for the most part, it is the same as the last one. My Evolution 3-pack Groot is so far away and it's so hard for me to get him. But I can tell you that this figure is very similar to that one. Now, this Groot, one thing I really love about this Groot is that it does have a wash on the arms and pretty much all over the body. You can see as you get closer, like just how like the paint actually di differentiates differentiates amongst the figure it does kind of stop when you get to that joint right there but you can see you can see how that when you really look at it i mean i really love the paintwork that they put into this and this is on the older versions as well if i take a closer look um i believe it's all yeah the evolution three pack version also yeah the evolution three pack version also had a wash like this but you can just see Look at the sculpting on that guy. That's pretty good. You can really see the tree details coming all over. Even the feet kind of look like stumps. Yeah. Face looks good. The eyes look pretty good. This Evolution 3-pack group had a smiling head sculpt, unlike the Builder figure, which had, you know, a, um, how I say, a sort of a more stoic expression for Groot. Got those piercing eyes looking at you. Yeah, looking pretty good. So this is a nice Groot for you. But this is not anybody's main attraction to the set. I'm pretty sure that most people who want that Evolution 3-pack Groot have it by now. Um, one of the things that probably drew most people to this set is this Gamora. So the sisters of Gamora, or the daughters of Thanos um, set, or actually it wasn't a set. The daughters of Thanos release that was sort of when Hasbro used to do these things where one figure in the wave would kind of share a name with another so then their box art would have one of the characters on one side and the other on the other side so it'd be like sort of a two it's not really a two in one but a one in two i guess you could say so that they this gamora she paired up with the guardians of the galaxy volume 2 nebula and this is the same exact mold and basically the same exact paint as the other one one thing that I wish that they had done with this Gamora if they were going to reuse the body again is that in Infinity War, this whole torso piece, like the whole undersuit of the body, it looks more black than it does this really navy sort of ish blue that they used. There are some photos where it like, especially in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, where it does look like, you know, a very, very dark blue. But for the most part in Infinity War, you know, it looks pretty black. So so I wish that they could have switched that up, made this black in some cases, because this set is not a Guardians look from any one movie. It's sort of a mix and match from different movies, I guess you could say. But um, the one thing I will say is different about this Gamora is not the face sculpt itself, but they reran the photo reel deco on it and they really defined the eyes and some of the tattoos on this one on the older version. That was one of their best photo reel hits for back then. But, you know, even back then it was like, a, you know, it was very glossy looking. So this one, they kind of redefined that. They doled it up a bit, made it look a bit more realistic. And this is a probably the best Zoe Zaldana likeness we have in the line. Uh, looks really good. Same exact accessories and everything as the old one, though. This one actually did get one accessory kicked out of the box. She does not come with the large blaster that the old one came with. But other than that, pretty good. You can see... There are some differentiations of paint. Oh, some texturing right there that I never noticed before. Look at that. Get that into the light and that really starts to stick out. That's pretty cool. But yeah, as you go along, you can see uh, it's basically the same Gamora from the legs down. You pop off the head and you pop on the other one. You, really, you wouldn't really be able to tell. I'm pretty sure even the greens are the same tone on the body and everything. 
Her weapons also have a lot of nice sculpting and texturing on them, as you can see, putting it near the light. Yeah, look at that. You can see all that. It's pretty good looking. She has her sword when it's unignited. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So yeah, pretty good looking Gamora figure. Um, definitely one that a lot of people were attracted to in the set. That old Gamora is going for a lot of money. It went for like $50, I believe, before this set was sort of like leaked out and announced slash-ish. Moving on there, we have Rocket... Oh, before I move on from the Evolution Groot, he does also come with the Plant Pot Groot as well as the little baby Groot. This is like the third sort of baby Groot variation we have in the line. So you have this one, the Plant Pot one, then you have one that came with this body mold, this rocket body mold a few years ago for the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 movie that actually had the Ravager suit on him. The Ravager suit on him, my bad, right now, Ravager. Yeah, so as you can see, this rocket is uh, it's a, has a slight deco change from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 rocket, even though it's on that same basic mold. Um, this deco is this, you know, paint and everything like that. This paint detail is more in line with his Infinity War release in the Infinity War 3-pack with Teenage Groot. The first time that we saw that sculpt that they used for the Love and Thunder Groot. Um, it also came with uh, Thor as well. Um, a sort of bare arms Thor went before he forged Stormbreaker. So that Groot, I mean, that uh, that rocket came with a different weapon. This one comes with the two pistols that Rocket came with in his 2017 release. And uh, it just, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It has the same crazy face. The one in the, 27, the 2017 release had a stoic expression face. It was kind of, sort of like Rocket was smiling. Let me see if I actually have that. The new one does actually have a different sort of paint deco than the old one. The old one is sort of a, uh, new one has a lot better gray that I like. The old one had this sort of weird tannish color. Oh, that was one thing. I guess that that's one thing that they never changed. This tail does have a tendency to pop off on a rocket. But um, anyway, looking at him there. So you can see the differences. Even the teeth are a lot wider. I can really appreciate their ability to actually get the precise white onto the teeth. It looks pretty good. Oh, there's actually some actually some more paint detail up in that mouth there as you can see that's not a shadow i believe that's actually some brown up in there to, on the roof of the mouth so that's pretty cool yeah i like that oh, got a little piece of plastic peeling off right there yeah, okay get that out of there probably hurt the boy with uh, some of his skin peeling off of his ear maybe that was just a hair or whatever as you can see there's some texture here at the back not a lot of paint though yeah looks pretty good um, this is not the way that I imagined I'd be getting another rocket. I would have liked an endgame version. It would have been nice if, I mean, there's no new sculpting in this pack, so I, I can probably, I can probably see why they wouldn't do it. And people would probably complain if it was a, if it was a Shop Disney exclusive with new sculpting. But it would have been cool if this set was more in line with their Infinity War releases, but that would probably mean having to release another Teenage Groot. And I don't think that that would really interest people. But yeah, there's Rocket. So the kicker of this set for some people is Star-Lord. Star-Lord has a lot of releases. So, I mean, it's not hard to get your hands on a Star-Lord. I actually just sold one just today. Well, I'm about to I'm about to ship it, but here it is. Um, here he is with the two-pack version with the trench coat Star-Lord head. The two-pack version actually had a photo reel deco on it. So this is not the head that came with that version. But as you can see there... That's the head. So you can just see the difference there. Look at what Photoreal has done for this line. Looky there. And actually the, the red and some of the browns on the new one is a bit more defined. Maybe that actually just might be the red from the single release on of this particular Star-Lord suit without the trench coat. But you can see how the differentiation of the paint is there from the two-pack version. Um, and also, one of the main differences with this Star-Lord, one of the main differences with this set in general is that this Star-Lord actually came kit-bashed with the hands from the trench coat Star-Lord. So this Star-Lord is kind of an amalgamation of those with um, with the head sculpt that I believe is the... This looks like... If you give me a second, I'll take a look. 
It looks like the two-pack head sculpt. The two-pack head sculpt was actually really good. I thought that the two-pack head sculpt looked just like Chris Pratt, but this one also looks like him as well. And you know, this looks more like Chris Pratt from Jurassic Park rather than Guardians of the Galaxy, but the two-pack head sculpt was also really good. I don't think that the two-pack head sculpt. Oh yeah. So these two seem to be the same head sculpts. Um, but you can see that. Look at that. That looks good. Look at the eyes. Yeah, really good. Um, I guess Starlord isn't supposed to, his eyes aren't brown. I guess not. Chris Pratt's eyes are not brown. Never realized that up until now. These two have different eye colors. It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so different paint detailing up in the hair. This hair almost looks like it has a wash on it, but then upon closer inspection, it does not. It's just how the little sculpt and the grooves hit the shadows, but... Yeah, this is a pretty nice, it's a decent Star Lord body mold, man. I wouldn't be upset that this sculpt has, that this set, my bad, I've said sculpt so much, but that this set has no new sculpts in it, considering how, um, we're about to get Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 next year, and I'm pretty sure that all of these characters are going to be making an appearance up in there. So, you know, they probably saved the budget for that. The main attraction of this set for me is this Drax. I've never actually had a Drax figure. They released two of them two movie Drax figures. They released one for the 2014 movie, and then they released another one for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This one is a kit bash of both. It has the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 body mold, but it does come with the head sculpt from the 2014 Drax. So as you can see there, Drax, the sculpting on this guy is beautiful. It's really easy to think that these, that his tattoos here are painted on. I don't know if they're tattoos for real. You can correct me about that, but it's really easy to think that those are painted on, but they're actually sculpted. I can feel them right now. There's a bit of sculpt on them. Some of them might be painted, the ones that are really, really, you know, incognito up in there, but it's, it is sculpted. Most of it feels like it's sculpted, so that's really nice. No screaming head sculpt for this guy. The volume two version came with the screaming head sculpt. This one does not. It also came with the rocket launcher, which this one does not have either. But, you know, for the most part, it's a Drax, man. I like it. Looking, going down here towards the boots, we actually have some weapon storage on this guy. Oh, uh, actually, all of these figures have weapon storages besides Groot and Rocket. Um, but you guys probably already knew that. You guys have seen reviews on these guys like four years ago. I'm just talking about the newer versions, I know. Take a look at that head sculpt, though. Not their best likeness. Can't even lie. I feel like it would have been better for them to create a whole new head sculpt for this guy. It still kind of looks like Dave Batista, but it's not the best work that they've done. Um, but it looks good. It looks good. Can't wait to see these guys' upgraded outfits in the third Guardians movie. I'm pretty sure they're going to be having some more comic accurate matching outfits, so that's pretty nice. I like matching outfits, especially for teams, you know. Um, it always looks pretty good. So, bam. There's your, there's your, uh, Dave Batista. So here is our Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind 5-pack. So, um, honestly, this set, it's not necessary for everybody. It's not a necessary set to get. It's one that, uh, you know, as a lot of newer collectors jump into the line, and the line grows and expands, you do want to have all corners of a movie set up, especially as they've been making jumping in a lot easier for a lot of collectors. You know, I believe this year... This year and last year, they've released a lot of Most Wanted, like a lot of the very popular movie characters. Um, they released uh, Black Panther over again. They released an Iron Man Mark 5 with the newer deco and everything like that. They got the Thanos back out there. Some of the main characters you want, if you want to establish an MCU display before you branch out and get some of the newer stuff, um, some of the newer characters, a lot of these um characters in their most uh desirable appearances like worthy captain america they released that endgame captain america version over again but the guardians were always one corner of the mcu that like the figures were really good even back then and they still hold up today so it makes sense for them to reuse those sculpts and then when we have new guardians appearances next year you can either sell these on or if you like to have all of the different outfits and costumes like me you can keep these and sell on the older versions of these same costumes that's what i that's what i'm doing as as referenced by this older star lord leaving leaving his home for the past couple years past few years now pretty sad but you know it's always about you know if you could get it for a cheap price 
good luck it is sold out but um if you can get it for a good price you know get that get that price per figure down to below maybe 20 or at 20 instead of like a 124 for repaints then i'd say that it's a pickup that's what i did you know get it down to that for that sort of cheapest price and uh pick it up if you want some upgraded guardians i do believe i will sell this group on though i like the old group and i don't feel like replacing its point on the shelf or anything but yeah this is a pretty good set scale of one to ten i'd give it a solid uh i give it a solid seven it accomplishes what it has to do but what you guys want to see is you guys want to see these guardians next to some other mcu figures so let's take a look at that right now rough poses right here i'm definitely going to shake this up and move this along as time goes but here they are next to your other guardians of the galaxy volume 2 movie figures and that looks good you can see them having all in together in the context of a movie shelf they really do seem to pop i love the guardians very very popular corner of the mcu good looking group yeah looks good there's that two-pack star lord with the star lord with the trench coat that two-pack star lord head on the trench coat star lord body so as you can see that figure was pretty good that head sculpt is a really good chris pratt head sculpt and I mean, I could see why some people would prefer this one over the uh, five-pack version head sculpts because this one looks just like Chris Pratt. Oh, I forgot to mention that the set also does come with Star-Lord's helmeted head. Same exact sculpt as the past helmeted heads, though. But there you go. There's your Guardians of the Galaxy. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me, are you going to pick up the Cosmic Rewind five-pack? Did you pick it up? from what's it's uh like from a disney park itself tell me that'd be pretty cool if you cop that over there overall i like the set i like finally having a nice coherent guardians group on the shelf all of these figures were ones that i had except for drax but i had tossed them in different places because the guardians haven't been released that much in the context of movie figures and you know there are some other places where i prefer putting them other than giving them their own section so now i do have a defined guardians corner and even though it's probably not going to stay here, I will try to move it around. I will try to keep this group of characters together because these are just amazing costume designs. And of course, none of us can wait for the sequel. So, or the threequel actually. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there. And I will see you all when we talk about the Guardians of the Galaxy movie figures reflection later on. I'll probably start getting to record that uh, pretty soon because we're going to be talking about all these different figures, of course, we got the collector up there. We're going to even include the villains, the Ronin, you know, best believe. So we're going to be talking about these guardians. But thank you guys so much for watching again. Stay safe out there. And I can't wait to catch you all on the next one. Later.